Allah created the human being in struggle. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ This life actually isn't about happiness. I mean, we all have moments of happiness. But even when, when nothing is wrong in your life, when nothing is wrong, everything's okay. There is no human being sitting here or anywhere on the planet that just doesn't have any negative thoughts or isn't unhappy about something, even when everything is perfect. Because there's no such thing as perfectly happy in this life. When you have everything, you still wish you have something else. And when you have everything, you say, I wish I had this sooner. Why couldn't this happen last year? And when you have the best vacation, I wish it would never end. God, can't you just be happy? No, I can't because I'm human. Because Allah says, Am lil insani ma tamanna. Human beings can't just have what they wish. That's not what this life is for. And the thing with TikTok is how to be happy. 20 million views. This, watch this and you will be happy. Happiness in three seconds. Oh my God. Humanity's running after one thing, which is what? Happiness. Just, just running out. And the most you will get is a moment of happiness. A few seconds of happiness. A, a day of happiness. An afternoon, rather. Not even a whole day. An afternoon of happiness. The graduation ceremony. Super happy. Then you get in the car and somebody says something. And whoop, All gone. Happiness is like... It comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. You want to base your entire life and how you live your life on something that is so temporary? Well, what are you saying? With that, we're supposed to be depressed all the time then? Does Islam want depression? This is what you sound like to me. That's why I say this. This is my voice for you. It represents you. Well, Islam actually describes that happiness is a byproduct. It's not a goal. It's a byproduct. When you're cooking the food, the smell is a byproduct. When you're living a life of purpose, then joy, you'll have more moments of joy as a byproduct. And by the way, and when you don't have moments of joy, you won't be devastated. You will not be devastated. There's an interesting rise in depression rates among teenagers in the world. Did you know that? The, the chart used to be like this in the 90s and this in the 2000s. And in the last seven years, it's like this. Study the rate of depression and suicide rates among teenagers. It's gone like this. And it's the same timeline as the development of social media. As social media became more and more personalized, teenagers became more and more depressed. And why? What is the relationship? Because you see someone else and you wish you had that. You, you develop more and more tamanni. And the more tamanni you get. And you think tamanni will give you happiness. And what is the reality? The data is showing you. What is tamanni giving people? It's giving them death. Suicide rates. Al-maniya al-maut. You read this in a classical dictionary. And then you read stats in psychology papers. And you're like, dang, these Arabs knew what, knew their stuff. Like Allah chose this language for a reason. Secondary meaning is, does a human being want something that will give him death? Does a human being, want, human being just want to, be, want to lie to himself? Does a human being just want to be drunk? Deluded? Self-deluded? Is that what he wants? It's such a powerful question. It's one of those wake up questions. This is one of those ayat you should put on your fridge. You know, just like let it slap you in the face. Take the alif, lam, mim, qaf, taha, kaf, haya, ain, sad. Take that off that your mom put on the fridge and put this there instead. Amlil insani matamanna.